A pump would be nice, but remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto Badgers. Thanks for joining the Crypto Badgers 2 to Gens. If you'd like to do our research, I'm Max Powell, joined as always by Matt, aka by Z Dips. We are here today to talk about a Gigabrain project and one that I'm going to give uh, you, by Z Dips, a bit of credit for, for uh, putting this one under my nose and uh, still getting the head around it. We're going to do our best to do it today. It's GridNet. Um, proof of work's been uh, all the rage uh, of late, or one of the things that have been all the rage of late. And Matt, uh, this is uh, one that is, is going to, it's just going to take a bit of explaining. Yeah, it is. We'll do our very best, Max. Uh, as you said, it's a gigabyte brain type uh, type project. But uh, yeah, us badgers, we do like to keep our snouts uh, fairly close to the ground. So uh, yeah, I think this one uh, might be a bit of a winner, mate. Yeah, I think when you sort of first mentioned this to me and you said you were in discords, there were wizards, there were operating <laughs> loads of live coding. I was thinking, what what have you been doing while well, I've been uh, overseas? But uh, it seems <laughs> though you've you know you actually might be onto something here. So let's try and work our way through it, shall we? And uh, see where we get to. The overall market, pretty much where we left it, it's held strong following the uh, the Binance sort of situation. There might still be a bit more to play out there, but all in all, uh, still feels pretty bullish around the place at the moment uh but we are here today to talk about gridnet we've got gridnet here and uh this uh you might first impressions can be deceiving matt because uh if you were to just send me this website uh the ui is not winning any awards but it's kind of no. <laughs> it's got that kind of we don't give a shit about the ui right now we're just going to build something uh incredible so sure all that very true time. very true uh so yeah so gridnet as i understand it matt we've got gridnet here we've got a layer one Proof of work blockchain, um, which is you know in the mold of a Bitcoin, is a proof of work blockchain. We have got the miners involved, and it's the uh, world's first hundred percent decentralized computer operating system. So uh, combining blockchain technology with AI and privacy, and uh, so yeah, th as we said, this is a very much a gigabrain project that's been uh, that's been thought through for a very long time, and. Uh, using you know zero knowledge and of course the old onion routing technology matt we all we're always a big fan of the onion <laughs> routing uh, indeed uh what the onion routing does it keeps uh, all your data private and um, this project has been in the works for seven years like seven years mm. um, and the team have got sort of backgrounds google nasa military and as we've said before matt when people from nasa talk we listen uh, <laughs> uh, much in the in the uh, what was it kelly schnook uh, that's the one yeah I no. <laughs> don't know if she's involved here, but uh, someone from NASA is. And uh, uh, along with, um, you know, many others with sort of PhDs, you know, in various specialities in AI, machine learning, finance, uh, you name it, they seem to have it in the team. Their YouTube channel, Matt, is something to behold. Uh, it sure is. These guys live code every day. Um, if you actually go back to some of their oldest videos, you've got four years ago, these guys were coding. They're still coding um, <laughs> four years on. So that's a lot of work. So everyone, I guess, can see what they're doing, uh, what they're working on. That, that means it's obviously very transparent. And, um, you know, it's, I think it's, there's terabytes of live. There's eight, 80 terabytes or something like that. 80 terabytes of live streaming and, and development here. So you can't fudge that. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm really uh, quite, quite incredible. But. Matt, I'm going to hand it over to you to ask how how does this thing all work and why is it interesting? All right, Maxi. Uh, so, uh, look, designed to uh, address the sort of the growing concerns surrounding data privacy and security, of course, uh, the GridNet operating system does not live on your computer's hardware. Instead, your native operating system is only being used to deliver deliver like terminal services such as, you know, your web browser, which is used to access the decentralized operating system, which lives in a realm of peer-to-peer -peer, peer nodes, Max. Uh, they've developed something that both users and dApps developers could consider as their personal multi-purpose decentralized operating system. Users uh, will receive the kind of experience that they're already familiar with, uh, you know, from sort of centralized operating sy systems such as DOS, Linux, Windows, and Mac, while dApps developers receive a framework and, you know, with sort of, I guess you'd say, unprecedented multitasking, communication, storage, presentation, and user interaction capabilities. Um, basically, anyone with an understanding of basic programming languages, such as JavaScript, can build applications on GridNet. Uh, as a user, the GridNet operating system renders any program or application that you use or website that you may visit 
as totally untraceable, which is quite remarkable. Uh, it's expected that the first apps will be released on GridNet in 2024. That will obviously be a you know super big uh, milestone for the project. Um, the team have already indicated that some partnerships are already in place, but uh, nothing has officially been announced yet. So that's just in broad brushstrokes, Max. Uh, you know, sort of what we've got on our hands here. Tell us a little bit, perhaps, about the uh, the tokenomics at play. I will do, Matt. I just want to try and summarise what you've said there. See if I'm, I'm getting stuff on the right page. <laughs> So, you know, think of your Windows, your Mac OS, but it's online. So you've still got your computer, you connect online to a decentralized operating system. So you're able to run your computer effectively through the internet. And all of this operating system that you're running through the internet is completely private, completely, completely decentralized. Yeah, using peer-to-peer -peer nodes. Okay, interesting. So uh, in terms of tokenomics, and we all love tokenomics because, uh, you know, it is uh, it is the key to whether this thing is uh, worthwhile putting some of our uh, shekels into. Um, so the, the token that underlines the uh, GridNet system is that the GNC coin, um, which has a circulating supply of just under 7 million coins. And uh, the current price, Matt, and we can uh, take a look at the current price at the moment because it's only available on OTC. Uh, the current price is, you know, going for around, you know, between eight and nine dollars at the moment. So um, that gives sort of the, I guess, what, what are we looking at there with the market? Getting up close to sort of 60 million now uh, in market. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. Creeping up all the time. Um, in terms of token inflation emissions, uh, which is always important to take note of, the team has come up with, um, you know, what we reckon is actually a pretty attractive model. There's 4.6 million tokens that are going to be distributed annually to miners. Um, uh, plus, you know, you've got your ICO fund participants. They've got approximately 340,000 tokens that will be invested annually. And, uh, well, I mean, those ICO fund investors, um, they've got their uh, tokens coming out over 40 years um, <laughs> if they can live that long. And if, uh, <laughs> annual investing, you know, percentages being adjusted every five years. I mean, that's uh, that's quite the weight. Uh, that is a commitment. That is what we call a commitment, Max. A commitment. Um, the team, <laughs> you know, they've also got some tokens, but, you know, really the, the circulating supply will less than double annually. And that seems pretty manageable, really, especially when you compare to, you know, a lot of other projects. So don't really see the inflation as being a massive issue here um, that we've got to be worried about. We do see a lot of new tokens launched in the market that have crazy inflation. I know some of those launch pads we talked about last week, um, the you know, those projects have got, you know, certainly more than double in supply in the first few years. So I don't think it's a, a massive issue. Um, in terms of what the GNC token is used for, um, basically GNC is needed to run a node and uh, that's required to mine more GNC. So uh, in the future, it's also going to become an in-platform currency for zero knowledge transactions and, you know, other use cases extend to, you know, DAO implementation and liquidity provision opportunities for their uh, yet to be released decks and uh you might be wondering uh well okay uh, if i buy it where where do i hold it and uh i need to know that matt so what's what about the wallet support what are we looking at yeah look uh, iphone and android users can download their wallets uh their mobile wallet uh the current iteration of this to be honest is is quite glitchy and um sort of there's been some syncing issues but uh you know, there is going to be an upgrade um, that gets released in December, which is clearly just around the corner. I think a block explorer is likely to come out around the same time. So, uh, look, as with the website, these things are, you know, pretty basic at the moment. And this is sort of, you know, what you can sort of come to expect from sort of early stage projects. Okay. And uh, but one of the exciting things about this, Matt, I think, is, uh, you know, buying it, it takes a bit of effort. <laughs> so it's not, yeah. you know, if you get in now when it takes a bit of effort, when others have got it easier. It, you know, number might go up. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's definitely my thinking. So at the moment, you can't buy the GNC token on any exchanges. Um, you can only buy the token. Uh, sorry, it's actually a coin, isn't it? Because it's the same blockchain. Yeah. Um, you can only buy it over the counter on their Discord at this time. So the team plans to launch the token on several tier two exchanges in Q1, again, just around the corner. Uh, I think they're sort of targeting like Mexi and, you know, um, that's that sort of level of exchange. Um, now, obviously, one needs to be pretty careful buying over the counter. Um, but the team has made it relatively easy. Um, there are buy and sell channels on their uh, on their Discord. You just post how many tokens that you want to buy or sell and at what price. Reach agreement with uh, another party, then use what they call one of the team's 
wizards to broker the deal by escrow. So there's four or five of these trusted folks uh, in the Discord community, and essentially your funds are held in escrow until you, you get your tokens. So, uh, and obviously you have them deposited into your your mobile wallet. So you need to make sure you've got your mobile wallet set up before you enter any into any sort of over the counter deal. But uh, yeah, um, you know I've not done a lot of over the counter buying before, but I must admit this was relatively easy. And look, you do take yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, but as to best of my knowledge, there's been no issues with. Uh, you know, people buying and selling uh, on their Discord. I think uh, there was a few impersonators on there that have sort of been weeded out. And obviously, you need to make sure you're buying from one of those trusted folks in the community. But uh, I've bought on several occasions using this, and it's gone without incident. But uh, I just think I'd, I'd like to sort of finish off, Max, um, you know, sort of with a few sort of closing comments. Because, you know, you know, at the end of the day, us sort of badgers like... Uh, like getting into these early stage projects, these great projects as, as early as possible. And uh, this one really sort of ticks a lot of boxes for me. I think firstly, you know, it's got uh, it's got a bit of a moat, hasn't it? I mean, by that, I mean sort of there's no crypto-based, um, you know, competition for a decentralized op operating system as far as I'm aware anyway. You know, they're sort of essentially creating their own category in crypto. And, you know, for that reason, they've, they've sort of got first mover advantage. And, you know, building something like this takes a lot of time and money. And they've seemingly got a, a monstrous head start on uh, on uh, any would-be sort of competition. I think also the project hits on some really key narratives for me, which I think are going to be very popular in the last bull run. We spoke about this uh, a fair bit on last week's show, um, you know, some key narratives to be sort of uh, taking us through into this next bull market and getting things rocking and rolling. I think privacy, decentralization, proof of work and, and AI, which this ticks all of those boxes. And uh, at the end of the day, who, you know, sort of really doesn't want to use a decentralized, untraceable operating and storage system. So I think the concept uh, is extremely appealing to a lot of people for for many reasons, whether they sort of be end users or, or DApps developers. So it's going to be really fascinating to see how, how this one uh, unfolds. And I mean, from a valuation perspective, Max, I mean, you mentioned before the current market cap sort of around 60 million. I think, you know, buying in that sort of 50 to 100 million dollar market cap range looks very good value to me. Uh, I'd like to think that this project, I'd, I'd be reluctant to put a price target on it, but I think, uh, you know, we could well be looking at a multi-billion dollar coin sort of when the, the bull market's in its in its sort of full full swing. And, and the fact that, you, you know, it's only available OTC at this time makes it extremely attractive to me. I think most people won't make the effort to buy OTC or they're scared of buying, you know, in that sort of way. Um, but, you know, we saw the likes of Tau and Casper who you know started their trading lives off as uh, over the counter opportunities and i don't think any of those early uh, otc buyers you know have uh, have regretted that decision to to buy before those tokens sort of hit uh, hit some exchanges so hopefully with a bit of luck uh, gridnet will sort of follow a similar path in this respect uh, when it does hit centralized exchanges in q1 next year so look we've really sort of only scratched the surface um, about gridnet today there is absolutely loads of documentation on their Discord. Uh, you can literally spend all day reading reading all sorts of reports on it. Um, and there's lots of really helpful um, community members in that Discord that sort of direct you in the right way, answer your questions, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, um, obviously people need to, to go away and do all that research. Um, but honestly, Max, I, I really, really like this one and my bags are well and truly packed. I've bought this this coin now three different times. Every single time I've bought some, I've gone away and gone, I don't have enough. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I've had three. I've had three cracks at this one. Um, so, yeah, I think it's uh, I, th I think it's going to be a bit of a winner, Max. Yeah, I tend to agree. I mean, the only you know negatives or cases against you can see is that it is quite complicated um whether or not but I, I i think it can be summarized you know in a quite straightforward fashion decentralized operating system um and it's obviously whether or not you know this operating system can become user friendly track users down the line but certainly as a as a speculative notion the idea of it the world's first decentralized operating system i think is going to be very popular with uh with the punters out there yeah i i definitely agree max i think it's a great narrative great story and uh, yeah, I expect uh, when this, um, look, at the moment, what did we say, say before? It's sort of eight, nine dollars a token mm -hmm. over the counter. I mean, that's sort of edged up um, over the last few weeks. I think I put my first buy in at about six dollars, six dollars fifty. Um, and it's just sort of just 
you know, organically sort of just moving up. And I think, you know, when January comes around, it wouldn't surprise me to sort of see it $15, $20 or even more, uh, even before it hits exchanges. It just seems to be going up sort of, you know, little bit by little bit. And clearly not a lot of people want to sell it. Yeah, to a degree. Hey, i tell you what, we've just to have a quick uh, cast our minds back to our previous video. A few of these launch pads are doing pretty well that we talked about. Yeah, no, they've they've really popped off. Um, um, yeah, talked about well. Meta, we talked about Meta V Pad last week. Uh, I think Chain Chain, Chain GBT was another one. One that was about one point two, I think, during our video. Chain GBT. I think that was about six or eight cents. Yeah, that's gone to uh, fourteen. I think we had it actually ran. That one ran to about eighteen cents, actually. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm not selling this one anyway. I'm not selling any of my launch pads. AI but, pads uh, about 20% up. And I think Oxbull was sitting at about 50 cents or 47 cents. It's now 65. Yeah. So nice yeah to see a lot the, of them have popped off. Nice to see the uh, launch pads. And I think uh, Cedify has been having a big yeah. run too. I think that was a dollar seventy up to two thirty. So yeah, I picked this one up uh, a little under sixty cents. So it's been a great ride for me this one. Yeah. So it's uh, good to see the launch pads just edging their way up and the Maybe just a, a good early confidence boost for the badges uh, at the start. Of the yeah, week. indeed. And and look, what we're seeing now is uh, you know, some of these launch pads just starting to roll some new releases out, which is kind of nice to see as well. I think this, you're going to start seeing in the coming months a hell of a lot of uh, new activity for for token launches. I think it's uh, tis the season, Max. It is indeed. Uh, all right. Well, that's all we got on the grid net today. Like I said, do your own research as always. And uh, we're not into financial advisors. We're just two guys doing our best uh, here. That's all we're doing. And uh, yeah, do uh, make sure you sub up if you're enjoying the Badger content. We'll uh, be uh, we'll do our best to get on here every week and uh, give uh, give you the lowdown on what we're looking at for the week. But uh, until then, Matt, thank you for uh, putting this grid net in front of me. It's going to be a, a long journey, I feel, with it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, certainly not selling this one anytime soon, Max. All right. Cheers, Matt. Cheers, Maxie. We're moon, sir. Coming live Coming from live the crypto, from the crypto world. world. Bringing you all that you need. Let's go. This is the YouTube Crypto Show with two guys who are kind of in the know. Crypto badges are here, so you're in the clear. No worry or fear, yeah, we're helping you steer. Shouts to the team, we can't forget. Max Power and Bazi Dips. Don't get wrecked. A pump would be nice, but remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto badges.